our boys. I've been trying to contact Little Chink. He's not responding again. So uh, we got to go check out, see what's up. I'm going to vlog this because there's no tell what I'm going to find in there. But he's humping Rin or something again. Hope not. He's a, we need to take him to rehab, I swear. It's getting bad. What the hell? You know Little Chink would never leave his precious rim stuff out. Jesus Christ, he overdosed again. Again, Michael? Again, again. again. There's only one thing that can save him at this point. Getting the inferior waifu. This is the only thing that can resuscitate this man. What the fuck is this? Get that fuck out of here. Did it happen again? Bro, you might have a problem. Dude, we're supposed to record today. You can't be like almost dying. Bro. From a waifu overdose. Bro, look, I just wanted to do it like one more time and that was going to be it. Bro, we need to send you to rehab. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Lil Chink and welcome to the second edition of Anime Fans Be Like. So, shout out to Hasten for helping me with this skit. So, if you haven't seen the first part, it'll be in the card in the top right hand corner. But yeah, let's just get into it. So starting off first, we have the Westerner. So, this is the type of person that mixes Western cartoons with anime. All right, next interviewee. <sighs> All right, so Mr. Lil Chink, is that correct? Uh, yeah, that's me. All right, um, so I hear you want to work at Funnest Station. Yeah, it's actually been like one of my dreams. I, I really love anime. So obviously, you know, if you're going to be applying to Funnest Station, you have to have some anime background. So tell me about your anime background. So yeah, uh, my first anime experience um, was actually Avatar. Crazy, right? Avatar, okay. Avatar is like my top rated anime of all time. So have you seen any actual like, anime? Like, like Tokyo Ghoul, even Dragon Ball, Naruto? Yeah, I've uh, I started watching The Simpsons, Family Guy, and even even the Cleveland Show. You do know where anime comes from, right? Yeah, um, anime is actually it's it's made here in the U.S. and in Japan. Like I even heard they're starting to make like knockoffs. So, little chink, uh, this will conduct the interview, probably the shortest interview I've ever done, and uh, get the fuck Ooh. out of my office right now. Wait. What do you mean? What? I, I thought the interview was going well. Just go. Get the fuck out of my office. Hey, fine, fine. So next up we have The Awakened. Now The Awakened is one point in every anime fan's life when they start to realize that anime is just more than a Japanese cartoon. Hasten! What? I've been trying to call you all day. Dude, can't you see I'm busy right now? I had an epiphany. You know how we watch anime, right? Yeah, everybody does. I don't know what it was, but today, I, I was just watching some anime, dude, and I just started looking at it different. And it's just, it's, it's mind blowing. It's not just some Japanese cartoon. It's, it's art. It's a true form of art. I just want to dedicate my life to this. I just want to go out into the world and spread the message of anime to everybody. That's great. That's great, Lil Ching. Happy for you. Next up, we have the most cringiest fan, which is the weeb or the weeaboo. Dude. I wish we lived in Japan and not America. America sucks ass, bro. Why? I mean, why not? 
I mean, the people are subtitled over there, so it'll be like perfect, obviously. What the hell are I you mean, talking about? I mean, it's the homeland of anime. Like, well, that's where it comes from. Well, yeah, like, Japan's dope. Yeah, so and it's so much better than America. The women are just so hot. They, like, love foreigners. Because, like, we're hot to them, right? And then, like, they're so small, and, like, they treat men, especially foreign men, with, like, as, like, gods. We do their gods, bro. And then they'll do, they'll kiss our feet. I, I thought we had, like, a general consensus, like... Bro, look at your room. I thought you were, like, totally with me. I mean, look, that chick is literally in chains. Is that not what you're trying to promote right here? Nah. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you've been smoking, but I, I'm out. I'm out. I'm sorry, bro. I'm out. What a loser, bro. I thought you actually liked anime. So, coming in last, we have the pirate. Now, the pirate is someone that likes to stream shows in a way that is somewhat illegal. It is illegal. <laughs> But let's be honest, as anime fans, we've probably at least pirated one show in our life, me included. How you been, little chink? I've been all right. Um, you know, just steady collecting. Um, yep. Reorganizing the shelf and stuff. Yeah, I can see that. Sorry I've been over recently. I've been binge watching the crap out of like a ton of anime. Bro, you should, you should really buy Can I Eat Your Pancreas? Bro. Like, the Blu-ray is not coming out till like, a couple months, and I can't find it anywhere, and, like, I really do not want to pirate it or anything. I just checked in. I want to eat your pancreas. Just add for free. I just want to make sure, like, you did not go on a pirate site, right? Uh, yeah, they gave it just for free. I get, like, a little hook, a little peg, a parrot, and I go off the sea and just watch all these anime. I mean, call it whatever you want, pirate or whatever, but I'm getting the booty. I'm getting the loot. And just went to google.com slash Reese's Fat Titties and got it for free. That's bear shit in the woods. What the hell? I know Mike would never leave his precious room stuff out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like all people. Just want that. <laughs> Dude, this is good. The agent can sense also like 14 over there. It's like actually anime. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I'm like 29, but like 14 year old can get it, bro. <laughs> Two hours later. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Sorry that this video did go up kind of late. It's because I've had a lot of construction going on at my house, so that's pretty annoying. But we did just hit over 50 subs on the channel, so thank you guys so much for that. Also, in the comments down below, let me know which fan you are or if you've encountered any of these types of fans. But other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace.